start on the strength of aforesaid judgments it is canvassed by learned counsel that the signatures of documentary evidence placed on record could not be compared without seeking expert opinion and section 73 of the evidence act did not enable the trial court to record a finding on the basis of mere comparison of the signatures on the documents comma originals whereof were not produced before the court below full stop this according to learned counsel for respondent number 1 is a material irregularity which the trial court has committed while allowing the application full stop learned counsel for respondent number 1 has also argued that despite there being an application filed by the respondent number 1 to call for oral evidence comma the trial court proceeded in a hasty manner and decided the application on the said date comma when the application for transfer was rejected by the learned district judge full stop rendering a detailed judgment on the same very day according to learned counsel shows that the trial court had predetermined the issue which clearly amounts to a material irregularity in the process of adjudication full stop para now coming to the scope of writ petition under article 226 of the constitution of india as directed against the order passed by the revisional court i am of the considered opinion that the revisional court ought not to have interfered with the matter on the mere ground that the trial court did not undertake an exercise of recording oral evidence or did not enter into a critical analysis of the documentary criteria the proceedings in respect of application under order 22 rule 10 cpc are summary in nature and the trial court while adjudicating upon the same has clearly recorded that no other person except respondent number 1 has raised any dispute before the trial court and that finding of the trial court has not been found faulty on the strength of any material whatsoever by the revisional court comma therefore comma the revisional court while passing the impugned order has clearly exceeded the jurisdiction conferred under section 115 of the code of civil procedure full stop the other grounds raised by learned counsel for respondent number 1 before the revisional court to the effect that the trial court proceeded in a hasty manner and did not dispose of the application for allowing evidences to be led is also devoid of merit in as much as no such evidence was actually led before the trial court or is required to be examined after recording of oral evidence etc full stop para this court is of the opinion that 
द ट्रायल कोर्ट ऑर्डर अलाउविंग द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रमाकांत कौशिक नॉट बींग अ कंक्लूसिव जजमेंट एज टू द राइट्स ऑफ पार्टीज वुड नॉट प्रीक्लूड रिस्पॉन्डेंट नंबर वन टू पार्टिसिपेट इन सूट प्रोसीडिंग्स वंस सच अ राइट इज डिक्लेयर्ड और बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट्स अंडर सेक्शन ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द सोसाइटीज रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट कॉमा एटीन सिक्सटी इज लेड एज पर द प्रोसीजर प्रेस्क्राइब अंडर लॉ फुल स्टॉप द ट्रायल कोर्ट वाइल एडजुडिकेटिंग अपॉन द इशू ऑफ राइवल सक्सेशन ऑब्लिक डिवोल्यूशन इन इंटरेस्ट बींग बाउंड टू फ्रेम एन इंक्लूसिव इशू इज एट लिबर्टी टू ट्रांसपोज एनी ऑफ द कंटेस्टिंग पार्टीज टू बी द प्लेटिव फुल स्टॉप पैरा by the impugned judgment and award in reference to issue number 1 comma learned tribunal has held that the accident that had occurred due to rash and negligent driving by the driver of the said bus was not proved full stop the accident had occurred only on account of evasive action taken by the bus driver in order to save the child full stop learned tribunal has further held that for maintainability of claim petition filed under section 166 of the 1988 act comma rash and negligent driving by the offending vehicle is necessary which is absent in the present matter full stop the claim petition is a collusive petition between the claimants and the owner of the vehicle therefore deserves to be rejected full stop when the rival arguments are considered in this background it has to be observed that the issues framed by the learned tribunal do not confirm to the provisions contained in order 11 rule 1 cpc sub rule 1 of the said provision prescribes that issues arise when a material proposition of fact or law is affirmed by one party and denied by the other sub rule 2 further says that material propositions either of law or fact have to be necessarily stated and sub rule 3 mandates the court to frame a distinct issue for each material proposition full stop para it has been contended that the father of the petitioner had acquired heritable right in terms of the provisions of act number no. 1 of 1959 and as such the petitioner was legally entitled to continue in possession and since they were required to hand over possession which was not in accordance with law thus they would be entitled to payment of compensation full stop in our view comma such contention of the learned counsel for the petitioner is misconceived full stop once the possession of the land in question had been directed to be handed over by the order of this court dated 26.11.1982 passed in civil miscellaneous writ petition number 2832 of 1982 in bracket rajendra kumar suri and another versus state of up and others in which the petitioner had not claimed any such heritable right in terms of the provisions of the act number 1 of 1959 full stop over